we now have the calendar table and also have established the relationship between calendar table and our primary data set. Now let's go to the report tab again and start creating the report. Before you start creating the report, you need to think about the visual. How to choose a visual for your report? Here if you look at the first requirement, they are asking us to show which year and which month has more profit. So when you are choosing a visual, you need to read the requirement first and try to imagine the visual. Think of different visuals and choose the best one you think which can describe uh, the requirement properly. So here in this case, because you have to show um, the data, you have to show the profit by year and month. If you take, let's say uh, you are taking this cluster chart here and I am uh, getting the profit and I am also trying to get the year and month columns okay so to get the month you need to drill down here so based on this you can you can tell which year and which month has uh, what profit uh, by just looking at it you can tell or uh, you can say that December 2014 has more profit but try to go through different visuals and see okay let's see this one how is this looking this is not looking good at all because all of them look same try to look at this one even this is not good look at this one this is the line chart so here it is properly showing you which is which month is going up which which month the profit is going up and when it is coming down when it is going up again so this is giving you a clear cut information so when choosing a visual this is what you have to do you have to look for yourself and you you yourself have to be a judge and decide which visual looks good which visual will be appreciated by the client after you select a visual then you can change the properties of it for me if i have to change the properties you click on this and you can turn on the data labels here and if you turn on the labels the data looks much more clear so this is how you choose vis visuals when creating the reports so this is the first point in our requirement so this part is done in the next video we'll see the we'll see the second requirement